of print t-shirt and hoodie design have been on the rise since its return in 2022 and this momentum will only rise up from here. Little problem is a lot of small brands are having trouble creating a mock-up for their off print t-shirt hoodie or joggers collection. So in this video I will be showing you just how you can create your puff print mock-up using Clothe 3D. This video is beginner friendly so anybody can follow through. There are two main software programs we will be using to create this mock-up. The first one is Photoshop and the second one is Clothe 3D. So make sure to download and install the software programs into your computer to get started. In order to create the puff print effect, you need to prepare your logo into a format like this, into a black and white format like this. So if you have a colored logo like this, I would advise you uh, edit your logo in Photoshop or Illustrator into a black and white format. So once you have this ready, then we can start making the puff effect in Photoshop. To create the puff effect, right click on your black and white logo and open it with Photoshop. Once you have it open, now we can start creating the maps. To create the maps, make sure your logo is selected. Go up to filter, 3D, generate normal map. When the normal map is generated, you will see something like this. So once you have the normal map generated, just click OK. Bow, export as Now you can choose the folder in which you would like to export the normal map. In this case, I would like to export it to where the rest of the logos are. And I'll rename this to normal. Save. Once you have the normal map exported, I'll press Ctrl Z to go back. And then I'll come back to filter 3D and generate bump map so this is perfect click ok so once you have the height map generated i'll also export this export as export and i'll call this the bump save So after doing those two things, that's all we have to do in Photoshop. Now you can close Photoshop and open up Clothe 3D. So in Clothe 3D, if you haven't already, you can go down in the link in the description to download a free t-shirt mockup template. So open up the mockup template. Once you have it open, now we can start making the uh, we can start adding the maps onto the t-shirt to make the mock-up. So in case uh, you aren't familiar with Clothe 3D, to navigate Clothe 3D, use the middle mouse uh, the middle scroll to zoom in and out, and the right click to rotate around to see any angle you want. And also on the 2D view, use the middle scroll to zoom in and out. So before doing the puff print, I would like to change the um, the color of the T-shirt first. To change the T-shirt color, I would come over to the body color. Come here to open texture editor and disable this. Apply and close. Desaturate and now I can change the color to any color I want. I'll do the same thing for the neck as well.
once you've done that uh, you can also change the thread color by coming to the top stitch now click on the top stitch color I'll change this from gray to black so once you've uh, once you have your preferred color now we can start adding the graphics we can start making the pop the puff print now to add the puff print head over to the graphics section and now you can drag and drop your logo so I'll be using this original logo once you drag and drop that now we can add the normal map and also the bump map that we created in Photoshop now to add the normal map just drag and drop the normal onto the normal so basically I'm just dragging and dropping to the normal and also the bump map you can drag and drop onto the displacement map and I'll also drag the bump map onto the opacity Once you've dragged and dropped all your uh, logo into the app, come or head over to the displacement map and change the amount to 1. And I'll also like to change the particle distance to 1. When you have all that done, now you can drag and drop your logo onto the fabric, the t shirt. And on the 3D view, you would see the puff print reflects on the 3D view. I'll scale the logo to my preferred size. And this is the result. To see what this will look like uh, realistically, head over to render. And one more thing, just to, I would like to add, uh, I'll just add this white and black and add it to the neck label. Scale it down so it fits. And there we go. So now to see what this will look like realistically head over to render click render and click on interactive render a few things just so i see uh what it's like i'll change the dimension of the picture to 1728 and 2160 and you can see the puff print effect on the gamut right as you can see this is what it looks like Yep, this is what it looks like. And you can also change the graphics. You can change it to a shiny puff print, or you can even choose a metallic puff print, right? As you can see, it looks metallic. So basically, you can do anything you want. This is what it looks like. This is what a metallic puff print looks like. This is a plastic. And my favorite is the velvet. Looks dull. Now to make the final pictures, uh, you can first choose the background of the uh, image by coming to the image or video properties. So in this section, you can choose the background color. 
you can choose the image size you can choose the background color which i'll be doing right now you can choose any color you want actually and also if you do not want any background you can choose to use transparency and there will be no background now to make the final pictures to get to a perfect front view press 2 zoom in and come over to the image or video properties now change the image to turntable image and the image count to 8 so with this setup you can make a mock-up of the front the side uh, the perspective view the side the back and every other uh, place so to make the mock-up just press the stop button and press final render give it a couple minutes and uh, it will save your files like your mock-up and also don't forget to check the file name uh, to set the file name and also where you would like to render your uh, images like where you want them to save to make sure you select this otherwise you might find it difficult looking for uh, where you saved your mock-up pictures and also image format I always recommend PNG now once you've done your turntable image you can also make custom shots like to make custom angle shots press the interactive render button switch from turntable to image and also uh, once you do that you can now check which angle you would like to render in this case i would like to render this angle like this i'll be using this for the thumbnail by the way so now you can press stop and render once it's done you will see this image video has been saved you can choose to open the folder you saved the image to and congratulations you've made your puff prints mock up